We're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of the Musselman Appleman, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team in the first half fought really hard, kept it close, and then unfortunately in the second half it just became too much. Martinsburg pulled away, but overall what were your takeaways from the game? Yeah, I mean, I was I was pleased with our effort. Um, you know, I was pleased with how hard our kids played, and you know, they played hard all four quarters. So, um, you know, I think that's the biggest positive you can take away is is you know just how hard our kids played, and and you know they they played together and they stayed together and they they stayed positive, um, which was probably my biggest biggest takeaway, the big po- big biggest positive to me in the game. Coach, uh, you guys decided to make a change of quarterback during the game to Michael Thompson. Is that going to be a change that's permanent, and what led to that decision? Yeah, um, you know, they split reps last week. Eli and Mike split reps last week. Um, you know, Mike's been Mike's been coming along for us. Mike's a good player. Um, you know, we, we, had, we actually planned going into the game to split them a little bit more, um, and then we just, you know, kind of thought in the first half that we were playing well and just kind of rolled with, with the hot hand uh, so you know our, our plan going in was to split them reps and to get them some reps and we'll do the same this week not only that it looked like your team decided to go back to the old school style there at Musselman and have a majority run game uh, bunch everybody in and have a few of the option in the wildcat what led to that decision as well for you guys this week yeah, just trying to – we're trying to establish an identity a little bit, um, you know, trying to come back and, and, and um, you know, just kind of get better. Um, you know, we're, that that's kind of the main goal. We focus in the bye week on, on getting better and, you know, continuing to improve. You know, our run game has got to be better. That's one of the things that, you know, ever since I've been at Musselman, the 17 years that I've been able to, to coach here, uh, you know, we've been able to have a good run game and been able to be solid. So, you know, just trying to – just trying to establish the run a little bit and, and you know, get back into being uh, physical and hard-nosed uh, with some of the stuff that, that we do. And, we you know, we thought going into Friday night's game, um, controlling the clock a little bit and running the football gave us a good chance. And, Coach, you look back on it from a defensive perspective, uh, they weren't on the field that much in the second half, but in the first half, a uh, really good performance in the defense. Yeah, our defense played great. Um, you know, my, my defensive coordinator, Austin Lloyd, um, you know, did a, did a great job uh, just preparing uh, our defense the entire week and getting them ready. Um, you know, we had a solid game plan, and our kids our kids executed. Uh, they played really smart. They played really well. Um, I thought we tackled well. You know, I thought we uh, limited uh, limited the explosive play really well and, and played really good. Like you said, they were really didn't get many chances in the second half, but um, you know, in the, in the first half, I thought they did a really good job. It's now transitioned to this week's game. You guys get to take on Cabell Midland, a very tough matchup on the road. What have you seen from Cabell Midland so far? Yeah, they're good. Um, you know, we, we've played them once since I've been here. Um, I forget what year it is. All my years are run together, but we played them one year in the playoffs, and um, it was a home game for us. And, uh, they, you know, they came in here, and it was a really physical a uh, really tough game, and that, that's who they are as a team. You know, I've got to see them on film over the years. They're just a tough physical program. So, you know, they're the same this year. Uh, you know, they're they're pretty they're pretty good. You know, they got one of the best quarterbacks in the state. Uh, they got one of the best running backs in the state. Uh, defensively, they got two Division One linebackers that play for them defensively. So, you know, they're really good. They're really aggressive. Uh, they really get after it. You know, we, we, we got a big job again this week, um, you know, going on the road, a really long trip, uh, and then having a really good team waiting for us when we get there. Coach, you mentioned uh, their quarterback, Robert Shockey. He transfers in from Parkersburg South. Uh, has that changed their offense at all? I know typically they're a run-first team in the past. Is that still their main offense, or have they changed to more opening it up with Shockey at, at quarterback? No, they're still run first. I mean, they throw it a little bit more than you know what what they've done in the past, but you know, not a lot. They're they're, they're a run first team. They do a lot more out of the shotgun this year with some of their stuff, but you know, some of the stuff's the same concepts. It's you know, they're coached really well. Uh, and then you know, they and they do they they have some difficult things to defend, and they execute their stuff really well. So um, you know, you you put you put together an all state caliber player. Uh, like Shockey is at running that offense, it makes it even more explosive. So uh, he does a really good job with it. 
And then on your side, what's your team need to execute to pull off the win against Capital Midland this week and get your team set back on the track for the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, we can't turn the ball over. You know, that's the biggest thing is, you know, I felt like, you know, I'm not taking away anything from Martinsburg, but, you know, we, we, you know, here you go, take the ball, score. I mean, we did that a couple times. You know, a couple of their touchdowns were were gifts. I mean, we, we could have, we could have lined up against, um, you know, the the um, youth league Martinsburg team, and they probably could have scored against us if we would just gave them the ball in a position, just hand it to them and let them score. So you know, you can't just you can't turn the ball over, especially when it, uh, it you know results in, in um, direct points. You know, for their touchdowns, where defensive or special teams touchdown scored. So you know, we can't have those miscues in those aspects of the game. Um, really any game, but, you know, especially against a really good team like Martinsburg. And then, you know, again, you know, another really good team this week in Cabell Midland. We just, you know, we got to protect the football. Um, you know, we got to play smart football and, and, you know, have some things bounce our way a little bit. You know, I, I felt like Friday night, Friday night that punt that went over Martinsburg's head, if that thing would have bounced our way, it would have been a completely different game for sitting there blocking that thing, sit at 7-7. Seven, seven. So, you know, we, we, we can't turn the ball over. we got to play smart. Um, you know, hopefully those 50-50 balls and bounces go our way a little bit. Um, you know, and, we, and, and, you know, we can play really well. Could you mention trying to find your identity offensively, uh, nine points in the last three games? How do you, I guess, establish that identity this week against Cabo Midland? Well, I, I, you know, I think first and foremost, you just have to execute. Like, you know, some of it's basic, um, you know, football. You know, we're not going to come out, and, um, you know, we're not going to come out all of a sudden and just say, you know, say, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're running this new stuff and all of a sudden – you know, we installed this brand new offense and we're scoring 60 points a game. You know, that's, that's not how it works. Um, you know, we, we got to, you know, diagnose a little bit, hey, what we're good at, what puts our kids in the best position to win. And then ultimately, above anything else, no matter what you do, you have to execute what you do. Um, you know, and there were times in the Martinsburg game we did that. And there were times that, you know, we, we did not do that. Uh, but, you know, I, I think to do anything to get us on track and get us consistently, we just got to be able to execute uh, the plan in place. And, you know, we got to we gotta be able to – us as coaches got to put the kids in the best positions that we can. And, then, you know, once we play the game, they have to retain that information and then execute, um, you know, once they're in those high-pressure situations. All right, any final thoughts, Coach Thomas? Um, I don't think so. You know, I lost my fantasy baseball championship yesterday, so that was a that was a big loss. Um, I'm sorry. You know, you, yeah, it, it, it's all right. So, you know, you asked me about the Martinsburg loss, but that fantasy baseball. Um, shout out to my league. I lost that one yesterday too. So, um, yeah, little little comedy for you guys that you can diagnose my fantasy team after this. All right. Well, hopefully, uh, your fantasy football, <laughs> if you play that, uh, did better. No, I don't. You know, I don't. I, I don't watch the NFL. I, I just don't have enough time. Um, I don't really don't have enough time with getting our kid or getting our stuff prepped. But you know, I really don't play fantasy football. All right. Well, good luck this week against Capital Midland. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I, I appreciate you guys having me on. Appreciate all you do. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. we're still here. If, if, yeah. If this if this does get aired, um, I do have one more thing. I, I was joking around about the fantasy football, but you know, definitely. Um, um, want to keep uh, Dave Davis in our thoughts and our prayers. You know, that, that's the official that went down the other night and broke his leg. Um, you know, he, he got had surgery the other day and everything went well. But, um, you know, in all seriousness, you know, want to keep our, our thoughts and prayers up for him, um, that he has a quick recovery and, you know, hopefully in the future can be out there because he's a really good official. All right. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, guys.